This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. What's up? This is Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you a couple of keyboard shortcuts on your Google TV's Logitech device. All right, and this is a wireless universal um, keyboard. And it turns on you know, off your TV and cable box and you surround sound receiver. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, a couple of shortcuts. First things first, if you're watching cable TV and you want to do the recall the last channel that you had, you hit the tab button. When you hit the tab button, it recalls the last channel. Okay? And you just hit the tab button again and it goes back to the channel you were on. Alright, so that said and done, let's go ahead and uh, show you the cool stuff. Alright, so if you hit, all, let's say your Google TV is messed up and something's not working right, which is very rare. This thing works really seamless for me. And uh, you hold Alt, Control, and Delete. And you hold Alt, Control, and Delete. Right there. And you press all three down. And it resets your Google TV device without getting your lazy ass off the couch. There's actually a reset button in the back of the Google TV device. It's a little circle of reset button in the back of that device. But you don't want to get off the couch. You want to keep eating your potato chips and drinking your beer. So that's how you do it. And you guys um, aren't familiar with Google TV. Basically, it just enhances your cable watching experience. Your cable TV, um, your cable box HDMI cable plugs into the input of the Google TV device and then the HDMI out to your TV input. It basically just enhances it. You can well, you know, browse the internet and watch cable TV at the same time. If you want to do that while you're watching cable TV, just hit this button. And then when you hit that button, you could do picture in a picture, which is kind of cool. And then you would use the directional pad, or you can use the mouse. All right, and the back button to get out of that. All right. So every when you hit the home button, it pulls up the quick dash. By the way, and that's the quick dash. So let's go to the web browsing. I'll show you a couple of tricks right there on the web browsing. All right. And there it goes. So if you guys want to know how to bookmark, you can bookmark by pressing Control D. So you press Control and D, and it'll pull up the bookmark, or you can change it to home screen. All right, and just use your mouse to do that. All right, right here, add to bookmark or home screen or share, whatever the heck you want to do. Let's back out of that though. All right, I'm gonna show you the next trick. The next trick to do it or a shortcut, keyboard shortcut. If you want to zoom in, hold down Control and then up arrow alright and that makes you zoom in you want to zoom out hold down control and then down alright so that's how you do that the next uh, keyboard short is refresh or recycle control R and it resets and recycles it so if your page is not loading properly or it's stuck loading, control R. There you go. There. The next is that open new tab. Control T. Alright, and then now you're opened up a second tab. Alright. And just move your mouse and then click click anywhere on the screen. And there, that's a new tab that's opened underneath the other tab so two uh, two actually windows are open or whatever you want to call them now if you want to um, switch tabs hold down control tab to switch back and forth so every time you hit control tab it switches to the other you know web page and then control tab again but since we're on the same web page you don't see anything happening but believe me, the magic is there and it's happening. All right, so that's how you switch back tabs. To close a current tab, Control 
W. All right, and that closes the tab. Control W, and there it is. It's gone, gone away forever. Both both uh, tabs or pages are gone. And again, that's Control W. All right, I'll show you a couple other tricks too. Oh, by the way, this is your DVR recording list, your TV guide and your cable box, and live TV button shortcut, and left click, for, and this is also left click in the mouse. All right. If anything in orange that you see right here, you must hold down the function key and these orange, like info, cable, box info, and the cable box menu, and so forth. And zoom in, zoom out. And the input for the TV, video source, you call be done by holding down the function key. All right, so let's go back to the cable TV. I'm gonna show you the picture in the picture. Or actually, I could just show you right here. And then go ahead and hit once you put your mouse cursor over the picture, go ahead and select it, and then you can maximize it, close it out, or you can move it or decrease the size. All right. And if you want to move it, just click on that and use your directional pad to move it down, up, left, right, and hit to store it. So down, left. Up and right, and then you just hit the OK button to store that. All right, and if you want to get out of that, just hit the Watch Cable TV Live. Okay, now is there anything I missed? Oh, there's one more thing. Now the info button. Some people are complaining. It's like, oh, it doesn't really show you the info. This is why. Hold down the function key, hit the info button twice. Once you hit it once, it pulls that menu up. Hit it again. There's your actual info. So you, again, you have to hit it twice. All right. So that's how you do it. If there ain't anything I missed, let me know. You know, post a comment below, and maybe you could share some uh, keyboard shortcuts for this thing. It's kind of cool. Just fun things to do with the Google TV. All right. Thanks for watching. And again, to reboot, Alt Control Delete to reboot and reset the unit, as well as the reset button back of the Google TV. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to share this to anyone who has a Google TV um, Logitech device.